Hey guys, what's up? This is Let's Ride USA, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to pick the right size dirt bike. A little while back, I put up a video on the new rider series called What is the Best Beginner Dirt Bike? Be sure to go check that out. The link will be in the description. But in that video, I basically compared the 2011 KLX 110L, my 2002 Honda XR100R, and then a 2012 TTR 230. Um, as kind of what we think are the best beginner bikes. Now the years really don't matter. These are just the years that we had available to us. But basically, uh, any 110, any you know XR, CRF 100, even including like the TTR 125s, the DRZ 125s, and then the two 230s, which are the Yamaha TTR 230 and the Honda CRF 230. In that video, we said those were the best three beginner dirt bikes. But what we did leave out of that video is how to choose the correct size because a lot of the questions we got on that video uh, was relating to what size dirt bike should you get for this certain height and this certain weight. So in this video, we're kind of going to cover that and give you guys a guide to choosing the correct size dirt bike. So when I'm picking out a dirt bike, whether it's for myself or I'm helping someone else find the right size bike, I don't take in weight to consideration as much as I do height. I find that height is a much more important factor in determining what is the right size dirt bike and feeling comfortable on a new machine. Okay, so I'm about 5'9", and the seat height on the KLX 110L is about 28.5 inches, and the seat height on the XR100 is about 30.5 inches. So I know these bikes are going to be too small. That's why I'm going to get directly to the YZ250F and show you why this is the perfect size bike for me. When choosing the right size dirt bike, the first thing you want to do is get on the motorcycle and you want to make sure that you have about two thirds of your foot touching the floor. You don't want it, the bike to be too big and you just have one foot on the floor, but you also don't want the bike to be too small so that you're flat footed. If you have both feet on the floor with about two thirds of your foot touching the ground, that's how you know you have the right size bike. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. It was just a little quick tip that I use when sizing up a dirt bike. So if your foot has about two thirds of it on the ground, it's pretty much a perfect fit. Now, don't let this scare you from getting a bike that's maybe too big or even too small. When I bought my XR100, this was my first bike and I really didn't care if it fit me or not. I just wanted a dirt bike. So at the time, it was uh, a little bit small, still is very small, but I ride it all the time and I have a blast on it. Same thing with the KLX 110. Very small bike for me, but I still ride it and I have a great time on it. And originally, when I was in the market for a new bike, uh, after coming off of the 100, I wanted something obviously a little bit bigger. I was stuck between the CRF 230 and the 250. And I felt that the 250 was a little bit too big for me at the time. I did go to motorcycle dealerships and they told me that the 230 would be too small and that the 250 was the perfect height for me. While this may have been true, I just did not feel comfortable on it at the time. I felt that I wanted a little bit of a lower seat height, so I went with the 230, rode it for a year, got a little bit taller, got a little bit more comfortable, got a lot more riding skills and then I was able to move up to the 250 and it worked perfectly. So I hope this helps. Um, you know, the best thing you can do is just go to dealerships, try on the bikes. If you can ride them, that's even better. That's really the best way to get a good feel for the bike. But I figured I'd make this video for you guys to show you uh, one of the common ways in choosing the right uh, size dirt bike. So I hope this helped and please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.